this video and hundreds more like it available on free Photoshop video tutorials.com. In this video, we're going to cover how to make a tax effect, which is called a, um, it's a multicolored tax effect. And we're gonna, I'm going to show you here how to make sort of like a, a little logo for the 2012 Olympics. Uh, you don't have to use this to, um, to sort of create a logo, but I'm just going to show you how to make this effect with text. So in a sense, you can put anything you like uh, as a combination. I'm going to use numbers here to show you the, the effect. So what I have here is just a, a, a new layer here. With just a, it's just a black background, so I filled it in with a new black background. And what I'm going to do now is with uh, white as my foreground color, I'm going to select here a, a font that everyone should have here. It's a, called the Trebuchet MS. It's a Microsoft font. Everyone should have this, even on Macs. And what we're going to do here is just uh, make a fairly big sized font here. And I'm going to click and type in, I'm going to put 2012. So I'm going to do one, uh, one number per, um, per layer. So actually, I'm going to change here to bold. Bold looks a little bit better. So here we got two, the number two. I'm just going to duplicate this here with uh, just Control and J. Scoot this over a little bit and put in a zero like so, duplicate it again, scooch it over, put a 1, duplicate again, and for the last one, like so. So I have 2012, like that. And now what we want to do is set the uh, opacity of these to uh, 60%. So with my number pad key and my move tool selected, I'm just going to press this number 6 on my number pad key on each layer transform it into 60%. Now the reason I'm doing this is because now I'm going to move over the zero holding down shift to make sure that it's going uh, holding down just uh, it's not moving vertically just horizontally and I want the letters to have a bit of an overlap so we have a bit brighter section where they overlap like that so I'm going to move the number one again like so and the two like so now what I want to do here is, uh, in effect, have it so that at the moment you can't quite tell, but the um, what you have here is number two being above the number one and the zero being above number two over here. Now what I want to do is have the zero being above um, all the two layers here. So I'm just going to move the zero up here. And you can't tell the difference yet, but it's just a matter of just organizing. Once we start adding colors to this, you are going to be able to actually tell. So I'm just organizing things here and making it seem like these parts would be brighter if I put this zero here over top of it. So that there's a zero over top and then it's the two and the one are below that. And what I'm also going to do is make sure that the two here, the final number two, is below the number one. So let me just find the number two here. So there it is. And I'm going to just drag it below number one like so. Right? So number one is above that. So in order, we have the two and then the other two. We have the one that is going above the number two. And we have the zero going above everything else. Like I said, you can't tell at the moment, but it's just it just helps us organize this so that you will be able to tell as soon as uh, we start adding some colors. So the first thing that we need to do is just select any of our layers here. And uh, we're going to start off with, I'm going to just start off with the, with the two over here. And I'm going to um, add a, a gradient overlay. So I'm going to click on the effects here, gradient overlay. And with the gradient overlay, what I want to do is, um, first of all, I want to click on the gradient here. Just do a click. And I'm going to change the colors now. Now, uh, at the moment, what I'm having to what what's happening here is can modify the colors of our gradient. And uh, at the moment, it's going from lighter, from white to black. But this is showing as black to white here. So just to not have any confusion, I'm just going to click on reverse here, and then click in. So now we can see that we have the black then going to white. Now what I want to do is I want to have a transition of a solid color like red. I'm going to start off with red, so I'm just going to go way up on top to red. And then I want the transition, so I'm doing that by clicking down here, right? Forget these sliders here on top, so I'm clicking down at the bottom. So this is going from red to white. I actually want it to go from red to light red. So my white, I'm going to keep it here on top. I'm just going to move it over to like a light red, like around here, and click OK. So I have bright red here anyways, but I'm at 60%, so it's going like a darkish red to so like a darkish light red. Okay, I'm going to click OK and OK again. So I'm happy with this. 
And what I'm going to do now is just to uh, just to make this process go a little quicker, I'm going to right click on that layer and go copy layer style. And I'm going to paste that layer style into all the other ones. So I'm going to paste the layer style, close this down, paste layer style, and paste layer style. And now what I can do is use a different color for each one of the uh, of the letters. So now I'm going to go with my zero here down the line. So I'm at the two, and I'm going to go with my zero. So I'm going to double click on the effects, and go to gradient overlay, and click on the gradient. And now I'm going to select a different color. So I'm going to click on the red here. And now I don't have to select anything different from here. Um, I all I want to do is just move the slider up here, and choose a yellow, for example, and click OK. And now, remembering a change here too, we're going to change that to a yellow, so it becomes a light yellow. Bright yellow to light yellow, and click OK. There we have it. Now I'm going to go to the 1, double click on it, and do the same thing. And now, for, I already used yellow, so you can you sort of use any color you really want. Um, you could have gone for the purple, or you can go for anything. I'm just going to go down the rainbow, rainbow scale here, so I'm not going to get to all the colors, but I'm going to go with green for now, and a light green right there. And our last color, which is the two. Now let me just find that two. It's right there. We've moved it around, so uh, it's a little tricky to find it, but it's not that hard. We don't have that many letters. Um, we used green, so now I can go for like a dark blue. I'm actually going to go for like a cyan for this light blue here. Whoops, uh, I want to actually change that as well. There we are. So an even lighter cyan right there. And click OK. So here we are. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website and we'll create even more videos that interest you.